Alvar Petrosian is no ordinary woman. She is Rambo's wife. Sometimes at the store, when I don't have any money on me, I ask them to write my name down in the ledger. I see them write down Rambo's Alvard, and I tell them, why are you writing Rambo's Alvard? Just write down Alvard. In their 30 years of marriage, Mrs. Alvard has never heard a single word from Rambo. Of course, neither has he flattered her with sweet words. Well, we're both rude. Rambo is a man who doesn't mince his words. If he thinks you're a bad man, he'll tell you you're bad. And if he thinks you're good, he'll tell you you're good. Everyone knows me. They call me Rambo because I was a fighter. Ask anyone here. Whether they be young or old, everyone knows who Rambo is. Robert became Rambo at 25, when he volunteered to fight in the War of Liberation. I used a big machine gun. I was wounded when I was 27, in Aigepar. That was on October 7th, 1993. The doctors had to amputate both his legs in order to save his life. Yet even in a wheelchair, he rejoined his comrades in the trenches and kept fighting alongside them. I went back. I had a Jiguli back in 1994. I went back to the trench, planted the machine gun on a tripod and fired away. When Rambo was receiving treatment in Yerevan, he met Harant Tumasyan, a fellow freedom fighter, who also was wounded and in a wheelchair. Within a few weeks, they became friends. Following their treatment, Robert returned to Tavush. He then lost touch with Harant. Ten years later, he received a phone call from an unfamiliar number. You can't imagine how happy I was when I heard Harant's voice. Are you working? He asked. I said, no. He then asked, do you have a car? Harant John, I said. I have a beat up Neva. Harant was calling from the United States, an auto mechanic by trade. He had a surprise for his friend Rambo. He had modified a vehicle purchased by Armenia Fund so that the gas and brake pedals could be operated by hand. Soon, that car was sent to Rambo, who duly abandoned his Russian-made SUV. He has been driving the custom-made car from Los Angeles for the past year and a half. It's my legs. God forbid that someone be bedridden because of a disability. There's no one who doesn't praise Armenia Fund. And I know from television reports that the fund is donating homes to people in Gyumri. You should see the joy on the faces of those people. Rambo's car is never without passengers when he drives from the town of Berd to his village, Verin Garmiragbjur. Whenever driving up to the village, I give a lift to anyone who needs it. They all heap blessings on Armenia Fund. Well, it's not just me that my car should benefit. Rambo's son, Artak, is cooking the meat. Mrs. Alvart is juicing red grapes picked from their vineyard. The bread is fresh out of the oven. Harant is in Yerevan for a few weeks. Perhaps he might come to visit Rambo.